Hello, and welcome. In this AutoCAD in 5 video we will be looking over scaling, page setup, and viewports in AutoCAD. By the end of this video you will learn how to scale, set up your drawing in paper, and model space, and utilize viewports. Let's get started. From inside of model space we are going to want to check what units our file is set to. To check this, we will type units in the search bar to prompt this window. From here, look at the insertion scale to determine the units and set them to your preferred measurement, this is important to know when scaling in model and paper space. For this video, our units will be set to meters. Keep in mind, if you are not using the metric system, measurements will slightly vary with an imperial measurement system. This is also important to remember when referencing other files. Now let's scale our drawing in model space, select the object we would like to scale, type in scale, then select a base point we want to scale from. Type the factor at which you want to increase or decrease your drawing and hit enter. Note that the dimensions are listed in millimeters for an exact measurement, although the units are still set to meters. We can see that the dimensions have increased and doubled in size by a scale factor of 2. To get our work back to its original size we can scale it back at a factor of 0.5. Now that we know the units in our model is scaled to the correct size we can go over to paper space and set up our page. Once in paper space we will type page setup. From here we can set the size of our sheet. If you do not see your desired plot size is selected, click modify. Then paper size and select your desired plot size. Commonly used sizes are 8.5 by 11 inch, 11 by 17, or 24 by 36 inch. For this video, we will be using an 11 by 17 inch plot. We also want to print this drawing as a PDF, so in printer and plotter we are going to select DWG to PDF, as this is the standard drawing to PDF plot. For the plot scale, if you are working in metric units, Set it to millimeters as we have it here, if you are working in imperial, set to inches, and keep it 1 to 1. Also, make sure your plot area is set to layout to ensure you are plotting the entire sheet. Make sure you set a plot style in the top right table to tell AutoCAD how to render your lines and colors when printed. For this video, we will use the standard monochrome plot style, which plots are drawing in gray to black shades. In plot options, check any of the options that apply to your page. The selected options here are the standard selections AutoCAD has given us which work for our page. Now that we know the units we are working in and the orientation of our sheet, we can add a viewport to begin scaling our drawing. Most of the time your drawing will already have a viewport ready for you. However, if you need more than one on the same sheet, type viewports, and from this window we can select the standard 2D viewport to add to your page. For this, we will only need the one viewport already provided to display and scale our drawing. Make sure when setting the boundaries of the viewport that they are within the dashed boundary around the page to ensure the entire viewport is plotted. To get inside the viewport, double-click anywhere within the viewport boundary and orient the page to show your work. If you run into the problem of having your drawing inside model space, but not yet in the viewport, it may be zoomed far out or not in the frame of the viewport itself. A simple way to find your work is by typing zoom and extents, which will show the extents of the work in your file inside the viewport. In this case we only have the one object so our zoom extent only shows what we already see. Now that we have what we want to show in the frame of the viewport, let's scale our viewport to the page. Let's just say that we want to scale this detail here at 1 to 10, on an 11 and a half by 17 inch sheet of paper. There are a few ways to set the scale, and in this video we are going to go to Viewport Properties and insert a custom scale. Currently our drawing is not scaled to a common scale, if we want to make it 1 to 10 we need the number that we insert for custom scale to equal 10, when dividing 1000. Therefore, in this case, we divide 1000 by 100 to give us 10. This means 100 is going to be inserted in our custom scale. The custom scale method is preferred as you can come up with any scale size by dividing 1000 by an amount that will equal the amount you want to be your scale. To make sure our drawing doesn't accidentally rescale to a different size when we make changes we can lock the viewport display by right-clicking on the viewport and selecting yes for display locked. 
In the case that you do not want to show the outline of your viewport when plotting your page, create a layer that is a no plot layer and place the viewport on that layer. To do this, select the layer's property manager and click the printer icon under plot to show a red circle on the icon. This means that anything on this layer will not show up when printed. That concludes this AutoCAD in 5 video on scaling and page setup. Thank you for watching and if you learned something new or want more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.